Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on obtaining the monkey Grigris. So, the main majority are probably watching this video um, as a link from my uh, Recipe for Disaster Part 9 uh, quest, which is of the freeing uh, King Arawiji subquest. Um, now, for that subquest, you need to have access to all different versions of the Monkey Grigri, which is the Ninja Monkey, the Zombie Monkey, and the Gorilla uh, Monkey. So, without those three, you won't actually be able to complete this subquest, and it's most uh, likely that none of you actually have those Grigris at the current time. So, I decided to make this video as a little sort of on the side guide uh, just to show you guys how to get around to doing them as it can be a little bit complicated. Now the first thing I'm going to say before we start this off is most of the things you need to obtain the Monkey Grigri you would have had during the Monkey Madness quest but you may not have necessarily kept them so if you do not have an amulet of monkey speak um, I'm going to show you how to remake that during this beginning part of the guide and then also um, with the Monkey Ever Amulet speak uh, you can normally obtain the uh, talismans quite easily um, if if you kept one of the original Grigris. However, again, if you did happen to lose that Grigri, then I will show you how to obtain the monkey talismans another way. But like I said, if you do have the amulet of monkey speak and you still have one of your original Grigris, you should be able to purchase monkey talismans from one of the shops on Avatol, so you won't need to worry about this first sort of half of the guide. Um, so if that is the case, obviously you can skip to the second half of this uh, video now. However, if you haven't got those items anymore, then I will show you how to go about reobtaining them. So to start this off I'm just going to go through some items that you're going to definitely need to bring with you. So because we're going to be going to and from the Grand Tree which is the main way to access Apatol, I would recommend you purchase from the Grand Exchange these items called Grand Seed Pods. What they will do, they will take you to the very top of the Grand Tree near the gliders and then it makes it easier to get to and from uh, Apatol so you haven't got to worry so much about travelling then. Um, as for other items you'll want some food to protect yourselves from the various monsters on the island. Island, uh, as well as some anti-poison and probably a couple of doses of prior uh, potion as well just to be safe and then the items you're going to need to make the uh, amulet of monkey speak is uh, a ball of wool and a gold bar um, I would also recommend you bring the best sort of melee equipment as you can to obtain the monkey bones that we're going to require in order to make the uh, actual gris gris a bit further on so try and bring that all with you now if you can so what we're going to do, we're going to head back to Apatol once you're ready. So what you want to do is go to the first floor and near the bar there should be the um, gnome called Deiro, uh, who you should remember from Monkey Madness. And you want to use him to take you to the hangar, then speak to the other gnome to take you to Crash Island, and then speak to that gnome uh, to take you to Apatol. So you should remember that from Monkey Madness anyway, so I'll speak to you in a moment. So once you're on Apatol, you're going to want to start heading to the northern part of the island. And again, you should remember this in Monkey Madness Quest. You're going to go up to where the monkey gates are. Um, I would recommend having some anti-poison on it. Some of the things can bite you and inflict poison. When you get near the monkey gate, make sure you put protect from missiles on to protect yourself from some of the damage. And eventually you'll get knocked out and land inside the jail. So like in the Monkey Madness quest, we now want to get out of the jail uh, using the same method as before. So when the gorilla is out of sight, you want to pick the lock on the jail door, which may take a couple of attempts. And then you want to run out uh, to the northern part of the island, so you're sort of away from all the monkeys. Um, if the gorillas get too close to you, they will knock you out, so you just got to time yourself correctly with that part. So once you're safely out of the um, jail, you're going to head to the southern part of the shops and go into the back entrance where we're going to obtain um, some monkey dentures and a monkey amulet mould. And again, you should remember this from when you did Monkey Madness Quest. So just watch where I'm going and you'll see my character sneaks around the back and is able to open the door. When in this part, you want to make sure you are in the shadows, otherwise the uh, ninja monkeys will come and attack you. Okay, so once you're in the sort of storage room, uh, warehouse type area, what you want to do is find some monkey dentures, which are by searching the crates sort of near the centre of the room, just next to the trap door. But make sure you go around the outside of the room. Don't run straight into the middle, otherwise you will be caught by the guards. Search the crate and you want to take one of the monkey dentures. And then once you have them, if you search the crate sort of in the southeastern corner, you'll be able to go down into the cavern uh, below. And then once you're in the cavern, go to the northern western part and search the crates around this area, and you should co um, come across a monkey uh, amulet speak mould.
Okay, so once you have the um, monkey amulet mold uh, and you also have the um, monkey dentures, you now want to use your Grand Tree seed pod to get you back to the um, Grand Tree and then get back onto the um, Apatol Island as you won't be able to get packed, uh, back to the relevant part um, at the current state. Uh, you probably will need to climb up the rope uh, to get back in the warehouse and actually go outside for the, uh, for the uh, gnome gliders to actually reach you. But anyway, I'll speak to you when you're back um, at the very beginning part of Ape Atoll. Okay, so once you're back on Ape Atoll, uh, you should be on the southern part of the island. You're going to start heading into the centre part where the dungeon is. And again, you should remember this from the Monkey Madness quest. This is the long winding tunnel which leads you to Zunok, uh, who is the gnome that makes you all the Gree Grees and amulets as well um, for you during that quest and will serve the same function here. So what you want to do is run all the way around the cavern. Um, try and keep run on as long as you can, but obviously when you do start running out of run energy, just keep walking until your run is able to turn back on and I would recommend you keep protect from melee on to reduce some of the damage as you go around the cavern and obviously eat where necessary. So once you reach the end of the tunnel, uh, speak to Zugnok and ask him about making a amulet of monkey speak and he will tell you to give him a gold bar and some monkey dentures and he'll return a, an enchanted bar back for you. So once you give him the relevant items, you should have that bar back. So once you make sure you have that enchanted bar, what you're going to do is want to return to the beginning part of Apatol Island once again. Now you've got two choices here, you can either use a Grand Tree uh, seed pod to obviously return to the Grand Tree and get back to the beginning part of the island like you did a moment ago, or you can run back out of the tunnel in the opposite direction to reach the uh, entrance, but that will take quite a while and also um, means you use a lot more damage and resources, so you may just prefer to use the Grand Tree seed pods. Either way, I'll speak to you again um, once you're sort of out. Uh, outside on the southern part of the island. Okay, so once you're back outside on the southern part of the island, you're going to head north through the monkey gates again, and obviously once you get near the gates, make sure you put, uh, put protect from missiles on once more. Okay, and once you're knocked out and back inside the monkey jail, like before, you want to get out of the monkey jail, so I'll speak to you once you've done that. Now, once you're out of the monkey jail, you're now going to head towards the temple, and what you want to do is reach the trap door so you can go into the uh, furnace area, and again, you should remember this um, from the Monkey Madness quest. So once you're underground, you should see a load of monkey zombies, and in the northeast corner, you should see a big sort of fire, um, which is going to be used as our furnace. If you use your enchanted gold onto the fire, it will turn it into an amulet, and then you want to use your ball of wool uh, on the amulet to string it, and you'll now have the amulet of monkey speak. While you're down here, uh, you might as well kill uh, a monkey zombie in order to obtain uh, one of their set of bones, as that is what you're going to need for the uh, zombie monkey grigri. So once you have that, you're going to go back upstairs through the trapdoor, and again, because you kind of need to uh, kill the guards to even get out of the trapdoor area, you might as well kill one until uh, it drops its bones and obviously collect it. If you think you need to, there is an altar in the northern uh, part of the temple, so you can use that to keep restoring your prayer, but hopefully you shouldn't have too much trouble, and obviously make sure you uh, collect the uh, gorilla bones and when it drops them. And then finally, um, to have the sort of third set of uh, bones that we need, uh, the monkey ninja, uh, just go outside and kill one of the monkey archers uh, again until it drops its bones and make sure you collect that. You'll now have the three different bones in order to make the three Grigories for the uh, ninja monkey, the zombie monkey and obviously the gorilla. Okay, so for the last part, we now want to obtain some monkey talismans, as obviously they're the other ingredient needed in order to make the monkey Grigories. Now, obviously, like I said at the beginning part of this guide, if you hold it, have access to a Grigri that actually works, uh, you can turn into a monkey on the island and then go and trade in one of the uh, general shops to purchase free monkey um, talismans. If not, we're going to use the other method, which we use in the quest, which is by speaking to the monkey child, and he provides us for another talisman. 
Obviously at this part you've got to be careful of his aunt that keeps patrolling in and out of the house and the gardens. Um, so what you're going to do is head over this direction here so you're near this wall um, and that way you're out of sight from the aunt. And then what you want to do once she actually um, comes out and the garden is out of sight, uh, you want to run and speak to the monkey child and tell him that you lost his talisman. He'll begin to cry. You can either wait a couple of minutes uh, and then he'll stop crying. If not, if you log out and log back in, that normally stops him crying straight away. Then if you speak to him, he'll give you another talisman. So obviously because we need free monkey Grigris, you need free monkey talismans, so you need to do that um, once again uh, to obtain uh, a second Grigri and a third Grigri, and obviously the um, routine is the same thing. If for any reason that the monkey uh, baby doesn't want to give you another talisman because you have it in your inventory, if you just drop it on the floor and then re-speak to him after he's finished quiet, uh, crying, he should give you another one, uh, and then you can obviously pick your original one back up. But keep doing this until you have three monkey talismans. So once you have the three monkey talismans and you also have the three set of bones, one from the zombie monkeys, one from the gorillas and one from the ninja monkeys, what you want to do is use your grand tree seed pod once again to return to the grand tree and get back to the beginning part of Apatol Island like we've done a moment ago. So I'll speak to you in a minute. And then once you're back on the uh, main part of Apatol Island, you want to head back to the dungeon where we spoke to Zooknock earlier, um, and in, obviously in the Monkey Madness quest, and once again you want to navigate all the way through the dungeon, uh, obviously you protect from melee if needed, and then um, once we get to the end we can give them the relevant items to make the Grigris. So once you're at the end of the tunnel and you see Zunok, you want to speak to him and ask him to make you another monkey talisman. He'll ask if you're sure and say yes. He'll then tell you to use the relevant items on him. So use one of your monkey talismans and then right click. Make sure you do right click so you don't bury them by mistake. And use one of the uh, different monkey bones on him. He'll then give you back the relevant Grigri. And you want to repeat this until you end up with the uh, zombie Grigri, the ninja monkey Grigri and the gorilla Grigri. So there we go, that's the objective completed. You should now have the three Grigris, and you're all ready to do the um, Recipe of Disaster subquest of freeing King Awoiji. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, if you did keep the um, Monkey Grigri that you originally got from Monkey Madness um, and obviously the other relevant items, then it would make obtaining these Grigris a lot easier. So all you'll have to do is literally purchase three of the Monkey Talismans from the relevant shop on Apatol and obtain the bones. Then you can just come straight to Zunok. Obviously it's a bit more longer winded if you didn't keep those items. So like I said, the main reason you guys are probably watching this video was to obviously now do uh, my guide on Recipe Disaster Part 9 for King Aroiji, which is obviously, uh, the link for that is back in the video description. But obviously for this guide, um, please make sure you remember to give it a like, favourite and comment, and obviously share with any other friends that you know uh, need to obtain a Grigris for the relevant part of Recipe Disaster. Uh, and as always, thank you for uh, watching, and if you do happen to run any problems at all, then leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everyone and good luck in part 9 of Recipe of Disaster, Fring King Aroiji. Bye bye for now.